Hello everyone, welcome to .NET Training Academy. In the previous video, I demonstrated how to configure and install C++ in Visual Studio. And now, we are going to discuss about the building and the compilation process in C++. And also, we are going to dissect our first program line by line. So before getting into the video, if you don't subscribe to our channel, please subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you will not miss our any future videos. And please support us by sharing our channel to your friends and your colleagues. So this is the very basic program of printing in Hello World in C++. And the background process is divided in four steps. And first and foremost, we have a source code file with the extension of CPP, which means C++. Just like each and every file has some extension in our operating system. For example, if you are using text file, we have an extension called txt. Just like that, we also have an extension for our C++ program file. So the first process is pre-processing. The basic idea on the pre-processing is it will combine the header file, which is hash include io stream, is one of the example of header files. There are a lot of predefined header files in the C++ standard library. The main goal of this step is it will combine the header file with our program so that it will create a temporary file with the combination of the header files and its code also our own custom code and then the compiler process the process of compiler is to convert our source code to assembly language basically c++ is written in assembly language and the next thing is assembler and in this process, it will convert assembly file into an object code, which is it will convert our CPP extension file to .wo file. So it will create an object code. And the next process is about linker. Linker fetch the library functions and it will link the standard library functions, the object file, which is executed above. So with this combination, that object file is completely converted into an executable file, which is also called as .exe file, which you may come across in different softwares. This is the executable file, which is produced after the step of linker. And if you want to run this particular thing, all we need to do is to a dot out we will get the results we don't need to run this main.c++ again because it just produced our executable file over here so this is how the compilation process works so now let's dissect our c++ first program line by line and the very first line we have a header file that is the header file which is and the io stream header file includes some input and output objects using that input and output objects our program can perform writing and getting input from the user stuffs and in the next line namespace simply used on specifying names to our objects variables if you don't understand the header file and the namespace you don't need to worry about for now so just stick around with us we will get into these things in very detail in the future videos so be patient and Get along with me and in the next line there is a white blank space blank space or blank line doesn't considered in c++ c++ always ignores spaces and the next thing is a function and function is to perform a set of instructions inside that particular block and in this case we use main function which is the execution of the program we also used a keyword called int which means the data type of this particular function is integer and the next thing is we are opening a curly brace curly brace indicates the block it may be a block of code inside a function class structure etc it simply means some set of instructions is performed inside the particular block and in the next line we are having c out it is an object with an insertion operator next to that we have a text inside a double quotes which is called hello world and 
in simple words we are just printing a line and in the next line we are returning a zero this is because we should return some value if you are using any of the data types as a return type we will discuss about these in future videos so for now let's get our hands dirty in the visual studio code not only the hello world you can write any text for example hello.net training you can save this one and you can run this code by right clicking it and run code and here you have having the output hello.net training academy and you can also use another c out you should put semicolon in each statement the reason is the semicolon explains the program that this is the termination of this particular statement in simple words semicolon is the termination of that particular line so now let's just run this program and we are having two c out in a single line the reason is we are not letting this particular code to print in the next line to do that we have to use end l command end l object to do that yeah we also need to do over here so if we do like this and we can run again so here it is we are the output is printing in the particular line or in the next line so let's just clear this and we can also use other options instead of in line for example you can put slash n you can put slash n inside of the double quote the same result if you put another slash n it will create a blank line over here just like this so that's it for this video if you like this video please like and if you didn't subscribe to our channel please do subscribe and comment if you have any queries and don't forget to click the notification bell icon share this video to your friends as much as you can thank you